um, freedom and liberty and it's supposed to be a place where everyone feels safe and included and accepted and welcomed and he's dividing everyone. He's, he has no place here. We believe that uh, this is our campus. We pay tuition to be here and we should have a say in uh, who gets to speak here. I've actually looked over a few of his articles from what he wrote and everything and they're, ex they're extremely like flawed and I just do not agree with like what he's saying. Yeah, there's two types of, of um, expression. There's one then where you express your right, you express your views and you just have to accept that. So you can accept what someone is saying. But then what's not acceptable is when you're deliberately expressing something that is putting down somebody else. And I mean, that's all it is. I mean, we can have our freedom of speech, we can have our, free, our freedom to be or do whatever we want, but we just have to not infringe on someone else's freedom while we do that. We are a school that allows all forms of thought, and it's good for us to protest like this and see like this, like see this type of hate uh, firsthand and really know what we're fighting for. Everybody just needs to accept each other. It's not even that hard. It's not even about you. Don't even have to be like you don't have to say, you don't have to agree with it. But you just have to be like, okay, I understand that there is this. I understand that you don't believe the same things I do, and just respect that. It's not that hard. Even myself, I don't agree with everything he says. There are plenty of our members that don't agree with everything he says, um, but we find it very important to at least give him a platform so that he can get out his ideas. Um, this happened over a year and a half ago that one of our members just decided on a whim to invite him, and we were fortunate enough that he accepted our invitation. Because there has been such a wide variation of reactions over the past month um, at different universities, um, we started planning here in September. So since September, we've been working very closely um, with the university. We've been working with UNMPD, trying to make sure that everything is taken care of and that everything goes really well. Thank you, Donald Ings. Every country deserves to have control of its own border and decide who's allowed to come in. Wanting this doesn't make you racist, doesn't make you evil, or even particularly conservative. I just wanted to hear what Milo had to say. I, uh, my cousin is actually a really big fan of him, and she was the first person to kind of introduce me to him and say, you know, look at this, what he has to say. And I was like, okay. And when he came to New Mexico, I was like, well, then let's really understand what he wants to say and how people react when he's here. I haven't seen a whole lot of conservative speakers come out, and this is one of the ones that i just kind of seen on YouTube, him with Ben Shapiro and uh, Steven Crowder. I came out because I did not agree with anything that he says, and I wanted to see where we might have some agreements. Um, sadly, my opinions um, and everything I believed are still the same. I think some of his underlying meanings were very important. I mean, he showed that there is parts of religion and, and parts of different cultures that don't allow women or gays or blacks to actively be a part of their community. And I think that we shouldn't you know, immediately condemn him for saying something like that, but we should go look into facts and actually study of what these religions and what these cultures actually do to these minorities and pe other people who don't always agree with what they have to say. One thing I always tell people is that fear is a choice. Fear is something that you choose to have, just like oh, it's courage. Knowing that danger is a very real thing that you can't choose. Acknowledging the danger of something is different than being fearful of it. I don't fear Islam, I don't fear Muslims, but I do fear that the, the, the danger they could have on our country. It didn't, uh, it didn't shock me, honestly, the way some of the people reacted. Uh, some times how rude they were and actually how nice some of the people were was really, you know, some people who didn't agree, they were able to eloquently speak and talk to Milo and he actually said some very good things when it came back to them. So I think that's important when you're talking back to someone, you don't treat them lower than you. And some of them were not very nice and I think that that kind of diminishes their stance because they could have many great facts but they are rude and it doesn't show 
that because they're kicked out immediately and then they can't speak what they would like to say. I just think it was his unwillingness to listen to minority people, uh, people that have been marginalized. Um, I just think it's, it's very unfair. He was willing to ask questions of people that were in favor of his um, speech, things that he preaches and didn't want to hear from us. I totally agree with the freedom of speech, um, but I do not agree with you being able to dictate the way people react to it. Um, I think if we have people that are protesting against you and people that are in the stands correcting you, um, I think that is totally fair. I, I love it because that's kind of the, that's kind of like the American way, taking people from all different sorts of societies, putting them together to listen to someone, even if you don't agree with it, respecting them enough to go, okay, I understand this. I may not agree with it, but I understand where you're coming from. It doesn't change their beliefs, it doesn't change my beliefs, but they kind of know where that person's at. I hope that people understand that even though we don't always agree on issues and even though we don't have the same views sometimes, that we all care about the same issues. We don't want people to be harmed or hurt, especially in this country. And I hope people don't take what he said to, you know, about banning Muslims and about that it means that we hate any of them. I think the point is we do want to protect the people in America, those who are Islamic or Christian or Catholic. And I think that is the main point, that protecting America is the goal here. And I think loving everybody here is the main, main point.